Peaky Blinders Season 6. Episodes, release date in the UK, cast, plot and everything you need to know. Note. This article contains spoilers for Peaky Blinders Season 5. Peaky Blinders Season 5 is officially over and what a dark and gloomy ride that was. Now that it's done, there's only one thing for it time to look ahead to the next installment. The mastermind behind Peaky Blinders, Stephen Knight, has already said that he's working on two more seasons, although that news hasn't been officially confirmed by the BBC. We are definitely doing Series 6, he told the Birmingham Press Club via BBC News. And we will probably do 7. After Series 4 it went mad. We've talked to Cillian Murphy and he's all for it, and the rest of the principal cast are in for it. But like we said, the BBC declined to comment on the future of the crime drama when asked by Digital Spy. Stephen also discussed how the show was initially going to wrap up after season 5. We were originally going to end it with this series, but I just thought that there's so many people who are just getting into it now, he said. It'd be such a shame to stop. Here, here. So, what is he planning next? Here's everything you need to know about Peaky Blinders Season 6. Peaky Blinders Season 6 Episodes. How many will there be? All five seasons of the BBC series have had six episodes, so barring a big shift, we'd expect the next chapter to also follow that pattern. Peaky Blinders Season 6 Release Date in the UK. When will it air? Previous seasons suggest that it will land around the end of 2020 or early 2021. But it's not 100% clear at the moment. The BBC left it late to announce when season 5 would hit screens, so we probably won't find out for quite a while, even once the announcement is made official. Speaking to the official podcast, Obsessed with Peaky Blinders, director Anthony Byrne said. I have no idea when it would be out, maybe early 2021, something like that? However, this suggested release date has yet to be confirmed by the BBC. Odds are Peaky Blinders Season 6 would appear on Netflix after it's been broadcast on BBC One, if it follows the same pattern as Season 5. But what we do know is the official preparations for the next season will begin in early November, and shooting will kick off in early 2020. This news was confirmed by the Season 5 director Anthony Byrne during an interview with GQ. And it looks like he'll be returning for Round 6, making him the show's first director to helm the series twice. Steve sent me a really great email saying this was the best it's ever been, and he couldn't believe the rushes he was seeing, he said. Cillian Murphy started talking to me about it. We had a great relationship and he clearly liked what I was doing. Then Steve was on set and asked me officially. I really had to think about it because it's a massive commitment to make, but it felt like this series is part one of two. I think previous series had very definite endings, whereas I think this series doesn't end that way. Anthony also told Obsessed with Peaky Blinders. I have read three of the scripts and they're great, I did say it feels like part one of two, and that was purely based on the fact that you have this cliffhanger. Peaky Blinders Season 6 cast. Who's in it? The Season 5 finale ended with Tommy Shelby appearing to lose his mind and poised to kill himself after being betrayed during his failed assassination attempt on Oswald Mosley, Sam Claflin, who has been confirmed to return in Season 6 by Anthony Byrne. With such a bold cliffhanger, you can bet season 6 will pick up where it left off with Cillian Murphy back as Tommy Shelby, as well as Helen McCrory as Polly Gray, Paul Anderson as Arthur Shelby, Sophie Rundle as Ada Thorne, and Finn Cole as Michael Gray. There's also Lizzie, Natasha O'Keefe, Finn, Harry Curtin, Johnny Dogs, Packy Lee, Isaiah, Jordan Bolger, and Jesse, Charlie Murphy. Tommy continued to hallucinate an apparition of Grace Shelby, Annabelle Wallace, throughout season 5, so there's a strong chance she will appear again. Anya Taylor-Joy's Gina Gray will also return as she continues her takeover schemes with Michael, meanwhile Brian Gleason's Jimmy McCavern comeback also seems likely, as his work with Oswald Mosley's British Union of Fascists continues. Bonnie Gold, Jack Rowan, was crucified and shot by the Billy Boys, his father Abarama Gold, Aidan Gillen, was stabbed to death in the season 5 finale, and Colonel Ben Younger, Kingsley Benader, was blown up. So we can probably count them all out. As for Linda Shelby, Kate Phillips, anyone who's seen season 5 will know that she was shot by Polly after threatening to kill Arthur. Speaking to Digital Spy about whether Linda Shelby will return in season 6, Kate Phillips said. 
I'd like to think she's going to be around and maybe there might be some reconciliation, but also you know her fury is pretty palpable by the end of episode 5. But also like it does beg the question how do you come back from trying to kill your husband? Guess that's for the producers to know and for us to find out. What's more, the finale went ahead and brought back Tom Hardy's Alfie Solomons, who miraculously survived being shot in the face at the end of season 4. It's safe to say fans were excited to see him back, we're going to have to wait to see how his story unfolds when season 6 arrives. Anthony Byrne told Obsessed with Peaky Blinders. We worked very hard to kind of make it happen with Tom's availability and then keep it a secret. It was trying to get him in and out of Manchester without people seeing him. It was the last day of the shoot, he drove up himself the night before, think he was learning his lines in the car. It was just a really great day, it was a lovely way to end. In even more exciting news, Stephen Knight has confirmed that Stephen Graham will appear in season 6 or season 7. Don't worry we're proceeding with that, but not for this series, he told the Obsessed with Peaky Blinders podcast. Not Al Capone I didn't want to go west because it's a minefield once you go into Chicago gangsters. I refer to him last series, but I didn't want to go into that. When asked what Graham's role will be, he said. I've already got it and I'm not going to tell you laughs. Knight added. The amount of people who have come to us wanting to be in it is quite astonishing and really good people. So what I've tried to avoid before it turning it into a spot the celebrity you know, because I think it's quite distracting sometimes. But someone like Adrian Brody Luca Changretta is a great actor obviously, you want to put them in it. But I think now we're coming to the final two series, I'm going to relax and open the gates a bit, because there's some amazing people who want to be in it, and I think why not. Knight also told The Mirror that Line of Duty's Vicky McClure is brilliant. She would be great, he added. McClure previously told Red Magazine that she had auditioned for every series of Peaky Blinders, but had been unsuccessful. Julia Roberts has also been linked to the Peaky Blinders movie. I don't know where that got out, but yeah, fingers crossed on that, said Knight. Peaky Blinders Season 6 Plot. What will happen? What indeed? Season 5 takes place after the stock market crashes in 1929 and sees Tommy become deputy leader of the British Union of Fascists alongside leader Oswald Mosley and later makes a failed assassination attempt after someone betrays Tommy. The big question is who betrayed him? Michael Gray? Billy Grade? Johnny Dogs? We explore all of the option here. Oswald also enlists the help of the Billy Boys, a Scottish gang, led by Jimmy McAvern, who strike an uneasy peace with the Peaky Blinders. Michael Gray tries and fails to take over the Shelby Company Limited, meanwhile his mother Polly Gray resigns. Michael is being considered an enemy for season 6, Anthony explained to Obsessed with Peaky Blinders. Yeah, it's certain. Season 5 was described as part 1 of 2, so we imagine that huge cliffhanger, which saw Tommy Shelby losing his mind, seeing his dead wife and pointing a gun at his head, will be wrapped up. Given Cillian Murphy is confirmed to return, we doubt he'll pull the trigger. We know season 6 will introduce Gina's family and people surrounding Oswald, Anthony Byrne told Obsessed with Peaky Blinders. Gina and whoever her family are will make themselves known, Oswald Mosley and some people around him and his world. Well Gina is obviously American, and she comes from quite an influential American family, who are not overtly a crime family, but there's a lot of grey there, and that's sort of teed up to be delved into in the next season. He added that her family are connected to the second option that Gina mentions after Michael's failed attempt to take over the family business. In real life Oswald Mosley married his second wife, Diana Guinness, in 1936. They marry at the home of Joseph Goebbels, and Hitler is their guest of honor, as she's friends with him. Given Winston Churchill's role, perhaps Adolf could make an appearance, too. Some Peaky Blinders season 5 deleted scenes revealed that Polly Gray also wanted to resign because of Tommy working with fascists, Abarama encouraged her to leave Tommy behind, and the Shelby leader intended to set up a charity to help soldiers with shell shock. Despite his reservations, Knight has confirmed that season 6 will go west in a different way and will not, as stated previously, involve American gangster Al Capone. Yeah, a lot of people thought I'd be going in that direction, said Knight, acknowledging the show's Capone reference to Digital Spy and other press. I really don't want to go down that road because it's just so familiar. He said that he was never tempted to take season 5 to the US. 
I think it's a bit of a minefield because it's been done a lot. The Americans do it, and they do it well. They do their own mythology, and they don't care. They just make it. It's mythological. But this is our story. This is more us. It's Britain and Ireland. I never really wanted to go. Knight also said that he wants to turn Tommy into a good man by the end of the show. I always wanted to take it through to the Second World War, he told Digital Spy and other press. I always wanted it to be this story of this family between the wars. My intention always has been to redeem Tommy so that at the end he's genuinely a good man doing good things. Finally, there's also talks of a Peaky Blinders movie set during World War II, you can read everything we know about that, including what all of the cast are saying here. Peaky Blinders Season 6 Trailer. When can I watch it? Trailers are often released in the month leading up to the premiere, so once we have that all-important date, we'll be able to estimate when it'll land.